Alien Sunday, and this week we have the Space Marine Ripley. Okay, so a little while back when I did one of these, I'm an idiot, and I said, based on the Konomi toy series, no, it's Kenner, and I'm an idiot, blah, blah, blah. But that's enough said about that. Let's have a look at this figure. Um, yeah, so inspired by the Kenner toys that came out. Yeah, I'm not sure if they were a comic or not, but it was like a, a plastic series and so forth. But it's a good start. It's got a clear side. It's really cool. You actually make out the uh, smart gun. And then we've got the base. Randy Falk, the man that's always been there. This one was done in the year, space year, that no one knows because they haven't put it on it this time. And uh, the cool comic that you get with it. Space Marine, Lieutenant Ripley, ages 17 and up. Born in Choken Hazard, small parts, not for children, under three years. And the back. So yeah, I mean, when I showed off the um, Apone one, I mean, this is a bit different because they haven't got there and actually Apone isn't amongst his lot. But these are other series that they've released. But we'll have a look at the card first. So, here we go. Authorised power loader pilot, home Earth. Discovered and barely defeated first alien. Survived several face-to-face -face alien encounters. The only good alien is a torched alien. Yeah. Dark, empty, silent. This is deep space and vicious aliens are attacking. One force has the guns and guts to face the ugly monsters. Send in the heavy metal. Send in the space marines. The invasion is on. Yeah, so as I said before, I mean, this wasn't on the last one, the NECA one. But then you've got the AVP line, which I actually don't own any of those figures. Um, the Predator line, which, I mean, to be honest, I love aliens. I don't mind Predator. I'm not much of a Predator fan. Predator ship. Uh, the big, huge queenie. I mean, she's massive. And the power loader. One day. That is the one thing left out of all the NECA figures I want to get is that power loader. But it's crazy expensive. So let's have a look down here. They put it all down here. It used to be down here, now it's here. So, Sega, 20th Century Fox, Sega, um, the, the company that made uh, the Alien Isolation game. NECA, all right. Mm, aliens versus Predator 2016. The Predator 2016. The alien Isolation. All right, so let's have a look at what she comes with. Right, so she's not got that much. I mean, I do like that's cool. I do like the way they got the alien in the background in the blue. All she comes with is the smart gun. Nothing hidden down there, no. Let's have a closer look. It's the sculpt we've seen a million times. It's not too bad. It's an okay sculpt, and it's pretty cool. The neck piece, actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually loose and moves. She's got weapon shells. She's got a cool arms. Really awesome paintwork. She's got a lovely blue trousers. And she's got her yellow boots. So. Oh, oh come on, light. Come down. <laughs> so, that is the sort of like the commemorative figure, whatever the word is. This is the original figure. So, um, that's for another video. But, what's even more is I've got this. So, we can actually put it side to side, I mean, yep, uh, it's got the yellow pouch there which doesn't have there, and whereas if these are really long yellow boots, hers are just like yellow shoes, but that is what she's based on, and of course this loose figure doesn't have any of the um, weapons or anything, but there we go, the Space Marine Lieutenant Ripley, which is um, a commemorative figure about the Kenner original series.